there's been torrential rain on and off every few minutes and the wind is really getting up now and then I can hear water coming through the ceiling Hello everybody, this is Amy from Chateau de Rosière and I am home alone at the Chateau just for the weekend. Uh, Mark and Clement went up for a family celebration further north and I'm not really up to car journeys at the moment. <laughs> um, so I stayed here to literally hold down the fort. And normally I'm not at all freaked out by um, being here alone. But last night, the most almighty storm came in. And so all of the chateau was creaking and groaning and doors banging. And it was not a little bit spooky. Um, and now it's the morning after. The storm is continuing, but the wind has abated a little bit. And I have to go outside and do the general chateau check up to check that um nothing has been damaged and that uh, we're not uh, we've not got windows blown open and stuff and it's actually easier to do that from the outside than it is from the inside <laughs> and i thought i'd take you on my walk around um i think pepper will come with me she doesn't seem to mind um you can probably hear the little chickies over my shoulder in the background it looks like a nuclear reactor it's actually a heat lamp <laughs> and they normally go out during the day but there's no way they'd survive today so they're staying indoors and whinging at me um but i have to go and let the rest of the chickens out and i'm not sure they're going to be very happy with the uh, with the weather come on pepper come on pepper pepper likes the rain maybe it'll make her smile less Oh no, look, the wind has blown everything around and we've got chaos everywhere. All right, full disclosure, it looked like this pretty much beforehand. Um, but there do seem to have been a few plant pots dislodged. Not a major drama. And some random cardboard flying around. It's really calmed down now, it's just drizzling. Uh, but it was so mad earlier. I have to go and let Mama and Chick out. Go sleep in the old rabbit hutch. Hello, hen. Up. Oh. Out you come, my girl. Hello, gorgeous. Come on out. Oh, thank goodness the uh, wind has stopped. I'm deploying a selfish stick, as my mum calls them, uh, for the first time, and it's, so it might be a bit wobbly, I'm getting used to it, but it does mean that when I do videos that involve me in them, by myself, um, it doesn't look like something out of the Blair Witch Project, having to hold it right next to my face. <laughs> right, so over here, just makes it a bit more wobbly, which is annoying. You can see one of the peacocks sheltering in the um, old tower house, which we're renovating. Oh, here comes the wind again. Oof. The peacocks sleep in this tree at night. I do worry about them in the middle of the night. Thank you. 
Tuk, 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 tuk. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello my sweet. You're making a lot of noise. Come on then. Come on everybody. No? <laughs> they want to come out but they don't like the look of the weather. And there's Dandor, he doesn't like to come down from his perch. Oh Dave, get down sweetie. You've got your ladder. Right. Hello Pampa. Oh, he's one of the rabbits is out. Hello Bun Bun. Now my job is to check around the buildings and the chateau to see if I can see anything from the outside like a, a window blown open or a shutter banging because if the shutter ba shutters bang, if they haven't been put back properly, then they can break in winds like that. So for example, I'm going to have to go into that room there and either put them closed or open it's always a bit of a problem because we missed some of we haven't got all of the um the tie back things but this side looks good apart from that and now i have to go down well i'm going down one side of the chateau and towards the jeet which is what we really don't want to be damaged because well it's the old coach house we call it the jeet um which has, is in the advanced stages of res restoration and renovation um, but there are no latches on the windows so we sort of wedge them shut with things uh, which don't always hold in the big storms let's see yep this side's okay which is good ah okay so we've got one blown open on this side which means I have to go up <laughs> Thankfully only one window up here and I'm going to try to close it with a plank of wood. Right, I've got a, a plank of wood against it which I hope is okay and I hope won't damage the the wood of the window, which is a beautiful chestnut window. Right, and whilst I'm up here, it got a bit windy and you can see some of the issues with the shutters banging. In fact, up there, the one on the other side seems to have even come down, so we've got those two. I have to try and remember which ones it is for when I go indoors. Okay. Hi, right, Pepper. Come on then, down you go. I've spotted something already. But it's not something I'm sure I'm, I think I'm going to be able to rectify on my own. Because I can't lift. Now, yesterday evening when this wind really got up, I um, came out to lie down our silk cotton trees that are at the front of the house. Because they're in gorgeous pots and they're very tall. Um, and I lay them down, but one's even managed to roll off the front step. So I'm really hoping it didn't damage the pot. That's the old fix we did last time it happened. Um, but I've noticed that, wow, two other of Mark's plants, beloved plants, these ones, have fallen over and I hope they're not damaged. Gosh, I thought they'd be too heavy to go. Well, now they're down, I just leave them, I think. Um, it's tough here, it's quite exposed. I mean, last year, one of the podondus fell off in the wind, it was that bad. And here, these two have gone as well. I think they're okay. I think they're just down so they can stay down for now. Still hear the squeaking and banging of those two shutters I'm gonna to have to go and sort that out one more side to check 
and I'll also have to do a check of the driveway in case there's been a tree down because then Mark and Clement can't get home. <laughs> Not that I'll be out there with the chainsaw dealing with it if there is. It's just a bit funny because I heard doors banging in the wind in the chateau last night so I thought there must have been a window blown open somewhere but there really isn't so that must mean we've got a lot of um, breezy leaks in places okay all the shutters on this side look good excellent I think for the moment I can leave the outdoors get myself a cup of tea and then go and check the roof which is the big question every time there's a storm excuse me what do you think you're doing this isn't the storm refuge for hopeless chickens i know you're a nice boy but i don't want you standing pooing in the doorway all day come on out you come go on Right, I'm off upstairs to see if the roof is okay. Um, the rain's just started coming down a bit more heavily. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath, but pregnant and lots of stairs. It's not good. <laughs> so my first check here is to see if there's any leaks coming through onto this floor um, in the standard places. This is the second floor, or if you're in the US, the third floor, uh, which is currently unrenovated. And we have tended to have leaks that come through around here. And I'm just looking on the floor. And hooray! You see where it came through before. But no water. So that means we're not in an emergency situation yet. The last time that happened, I was home alone as well with just Clement as a baby and I <laughs> was going up and down from the loft from the attic with buckets of water with Clement strapped to my front which was hard work here we go up into the attic if I can get in oh. hey first time I don't have a torch, but it's still quite light up here. Love it up here. All right, so we're right under the eaves of the house here, of the chateau. And what we need to look out for are leaks coming in around the windows, mostly. That one's looking okay. Although the beam's a bit wet, um, up there, might need Mark to look at that. I just need to check around, because what happens is, tiles from the roof sometimes shift, and because of the huge surface of the roof, it means that if just one tile shifts, all the water comes down and comes through the hole, and so I have to... I can't get right into the corners because it's quite dark, but I can't see anything major. These are the great chimneys coming up through the house. Here and here, there's a couple more. And that's the walled off section, which we're gonna go and check next. It's the uh, future library which opens right to the roof. See, this is why Mark can't find his tools, because he leaves them in random places. Now, this is the critical corner where we get all the leaks. There's always a stubborn tile that moves. But we thought we fixed it last time, and indeed, yay! No leaks. And the window's holding up. Whew. I'm 
so that's the Rosier protocol for storms. <laughs> We've checked plants, trees, windows, shutters, roof, animals, and most seem to be pretty good. So I reckon I deserve a cup of tea. Now, drat and blast, I forgot the uh I forgot the library on the way down and I can hear water coming through the ceiling. Right, where is it coming through? There's a drip here. Well, as leaks go, that isn't too bad. But I wonder where it's coming from behind one of these beams. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about this when we're actually in the storm um i can just put a bucket underneath it and then when we've got better weather mark will go on the roof and check for shifting tiles well it's a good thing i did go out when i did because um it's certainly stepping up a bit there's been torrential rain on and off every few minutes and the wind is really getting up now so the boys are home mm -hmm. And we're looking out the front door. Look under the front door that was shut earlier. Did I do good with the plants, Mark? Yeah, you did really well. It's, uh, <laughs> the, the problem is more for the pots than the plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I didn't want any branches to break. Mm -hmm. Clement wants to go and see the <laughs> fish. Yeah. He's not scared of a bit of rain, he's British. He's also not scared of the thunder and lightning, amazingly. And like pepper. And like peppers. Yeah. Terrified in and the kitchen. He just wants to step in the... <laughs> Jump in the puddles. Playing with puddles <laughs> inside the house. I know. Clément, don't go outside in the rain, love. Thank you. 